Well, that's a big smile on your face, Andrew. I mean, uh, buzzer beater to beat Anchorage on senior night. Could you could you have drawn it up any better? I don't think it was drawn up. It just it just happened. I mean, I was in the right place at the right time. Ronnie made all the right moves, and and he just found me. Yeah, I think that's just, you know, us playing together for these past two years. Um, we grow on each other, and, you know, I know where he's going to be on the court, and he, just like he knows where I'm going to be on the court. And, you know, we were on the court and at the right place at the right time. You know, get that W. How nice is it to finally get the monkey off our backs of, of beating the Seawolves? Oh, man, and, and just, you know, being introduced to this this rivalry last year, it was, you know, we didn't we didn't understand how big it was, but the, the first game we played them, you know, we, we were in the rivalry. You know, we, we knew – how much this meant for our fans, for you know our, our school, for us as a team. We knew that just beating the Seawolves every time we played them, or you know playing competitively and giving a good shot, we knew that uh, we knew how important it and how exciting it was going to be. Anything uh, it just it just feels good. Um, we've been trying out for the last two years, ever since I got here, and on senior night, it was a big night, and we just we came through in the end. Talk about the crowd. I mean, how did you guys feed off of them? Because it was packed to the brim yeah I, the crowd man every time they just, they just kept us in it we we're down 13 and uh we were i don't know we were in a hole and then they just kept cheering us on they didn't give up on us so we didn't want to give up on them and we just wanted to win it for fairbanks for ourselves for our seniors and it was just it, it just feels really good right now ronnie walk us through that final play because there was a lot of time left and and uh and then how you found drew well, um, going into the timeout when it was 10 seconds left, um, I went over to coach and I was telling him, like, man, let me take this. You know, I, I want this. This is a big moment. And um, when I got the inbound on the um, on the far end of the court, I thought I honestly thought that they were going to back off and go into man-to-man, but they didn't. So um, I knew how much time was on the clock, so I just wanted to get into the front court and then make a move and get to the basket. So um, I got past a couple of defenders, and as I was going to the basket, I had one more defender to beat. Um, I think he kind of chucked me. You know, it was false, man. He um, chucked me in a certain way, but I knew, you know, I knew where my teammates were the whole time on the court, and um, I knew Drew was going to come down the lane. That's kind of why. So another reason why I dribbled, you know, over to the left hand side of the court, because I knew this was this was his hot spot. So just in case, you know, if I didn't have an edge on my defender, I knew he was going to be in the right place at the right time. You know, just like I said, knowing your knowing your um, teammates, I knew where everyone was spotting up at, and I knew he's going to slash to the basket. We knew you tried to go up for the for the game winning bucket and obviously you got denied on the opportunity too. Yeah. But did you know that Drew was gonna be did you oh, yeah. know he was there? Yeah. I seen him trailing me the whole time. Like I knew I knew everyone else on the court at the same I mean, the whole time. I have ten seconds left. I didn't want anybody to I didn't want them to take no Hail Mary shot. You know, I wanted us to, to go for the win. And I didn't want to go over time. Drew, did do you guys practice the play that kinda of drawn up if, if Ronnie gets kind of if it collapse, if the play collapses like that, do you guys practice what happened there at the end? Not really practice, but it was just it was just instinct. Like playing together the last two years, you probably see us on the court. We we probably fight more than anybody on the court with each yeah. other. But I, I like we always know where each other's at. Like we always know how to set the person up to help them out. And we're, you know, we I don't know. I just, like I just, if I'm posting up, I know where he's at. If he's driving, he knows where I'm at. So we just got that connection, and it just worked out in the end. You know, it's very easy in games like these when you get down to kind of just, all right, well, we tried, but uh, something something changed with about six minutes left. What changed? Well, I think we we were done trying, you know. We, we wanted to actually make a change. We, you know, we didn't want to fall into that, oh, we almost had them again, see what's get the W. You know, we didn't want to fall into to that, 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 that routine. We, we wanted to win this game. Regardless if we were down 15, 13, 5, 20 points, we wanted to win the game, and we weren't going to give up until you know we put us we, till we got back and to win the game. We weren't going to give up at all. What did your dad say to you after the game? Uh, he told me he loved me and um, gave me a big hug. You know, he said I made all the right plays at the end. He congratulated me on the W. Andrew, what about your girlfriend? What did she say to you after the made bucket? She's just proud of me. You know, just just glad she was here to support me and be there to see that. Now we'll talk about next week, GNAC championship. We were a four seed last year. Pre preseason, we were picked fifth. Obviously, we're the three seed, and uh, we're going to have a matinee game on, I believe, Wednesday afternoon. Um, 
just talk about uh, you guys will get the next couple days off, and then Sunday you, you hit it back hard because uh, Tuesday you guys are heading down, and uh, and then it's on to work. You guys are three wins away from the NCAA tournament. I mean, is that in your heads that you guys know we, we're this close to to making it to where we know we can be? Yeah, I mean, our our goal in the end is just we want to make the tournament. Like that's been our goal. Well, and to beat Anchorage, but that's been our goal since the beginning of the season. So. We got three big games next week. Um, we kind of get a break not playing on Saturday, so we get a couple of days off. And I'm not sure where our opponent is yet, but they have to play Saturday. So we got to take that as, um, to our advantage and just come out next Tuesday, play hard. Come out, I mean, next Wednesday, play hard. Thursday, play hard. And hopefully, make it to that championship game on Saturday. Yeah. Just any final words on finally beating those Seawells? I mean, you can see it on your faces. I mean, it's, it's a lot of emotion going in there. <sighs> Go Nooks. <laughs> Go Nooks. <laughs> thank the fans for supporting yeah. us, thank not giving up on us. All right. I well, thank everybody for coming out, and you know it was it was exciting. And Go Nooks. All right. We'll see you in Lacey, Washington next week, boys. Thank you. Finally, get that monkey off the back of beating uh, UAA and did it in just an unreal fashion. I mean, just talk about that win. Well, I mean, you know, you you got to look at. You know, we broke the streak with UAA and, and you know, 16. I mean, you, you, my hat's off to UAA for, I mean, and for Coach Osborne winning, you know, beating us 16 times in a row. I mean, that's not easy to do in a rivalry game. And, uh, but, boy, I'm just excited about how we how we just played the last six minutes. We're down 13 points, and we just found a way. I mean, I'm, I'm thrilled for our seniors, um, for our program to, to, to get that – streak broke but I mean just it's, it's special when you beat your rival and, and uh, you know we beat a very good basketball team you know this is a team that pounded us in Anchorage and uh, they had their way up 13 and they're really hard to guard And but we found a way the last six minutes. Ronnie Baker hit some big shots Andrew Kelly struggled shooting for a lot of the game and then the, the last few minutes is he was able to get those buckets he was missing in the first half and early on in the second half uh you know, just talk about the play of those two because, you know, they really carried the offense tonight. Well, they did. And, and you know, I thought Ronnie Baker got some, some good hoops, drives the hole. And, and Andrew, you know, 10 offensive rebounds and some putbacks. And, I mean, he's just relentless. And, I mean, he doesn't have much energy left. But I thought Joe Slocum really controlled things from the point guard position. And, um, you know, we needed defensive stops, and we finally got in the last six minutes. But we found a set that kind of got a little movement for us, and we were able to get some drives to the hoop. And, and then Mike Stepovich hit a big three, you know, also to rally us and get us within, you know, kind of where we could make a run there at the end. We've been in some big, close games, so quite a few this year, actually. And, uh, I mean, just talk about having these this kind of senior class, I mean, because we've been able to finish – these kind of games most of the time. Well, I, you know, I think anytime you can win close games, just you know, there's something about winning close games and competitive games, and, and, and these guys have done it in an array of ways. I mean, this year we just different. I mean, down 25, uh, down six under a minute, and, and and then we've held on to leads, and you know, just different ways. They just they just seem to find a way and hang together and compete, and that's, that's who you like to be with. And, and uh, I'm proud of these six seniors and, you know, what they've helped us do the last two years. Talk about the crowd tonight. The crowd was great. I mean, it, uh, you know, we got down early, and I thought our rally at halftime put us, you know, back into the game, and, and we got the crowd back into the game. And, and in the second half, um, you know, there wasn't much cheering there. We got down 13, but, boy, that last five minutes when we were rallying and, and the defense chant was pretty cool, having everybody involved. And you know, you want to in a rivalry game. You know, you want to you you want the fans to to get their money's worth and and see a good game and see two competitive teams. And and it did. It came right down the wire. Obviously, last second shot. And you know, uh, it was fortunate. It was us. I you know you talked a little bit about Andrew with ten offensive rebounds, but really just talk about rebounding overall. I mean, this is probably one of the more dominant rebounding games you've had since you've been here. Well, not that the rebounding has been a little bit of a concern for us uh, in league, and we talked about that every game. And uh, no, for us to win the boards by over ten is huge. And uh, you know, their guy Stafford being a foul trouble was, a, you know, he's their main rebounder, and uh, and and they're playing small. We knew there was going to be a lot of long rebounds, and and uh, you know, we got a couple stops, a couple long rebounds, which helped us in the transition uh, 
you know, in the last five minutes too. But uh, I hope it continues. Uh, you know, I thought Mike Stepovich's six rebounds, Kelly's 14 rebounds. That's 20 between uh, those two guys. Uh, now looking ahead, uh, your guys are you and both <coughs> you and UAA have the advantage that no other team has in the league. You're in the tournament and you don't have to play two nights from now, so you guys get two extra days of rest before your first round games. I mean, talk about what that does for a team to know that you guys will have more be the most rested team, you know, going well, into the tournament. You know, we, we had a tough stretch. Uh, we just played nine straight Thursday Saturdays, and we finally get a, a night off here this Saturday. So. You know, I hope we use it wisely. We're going to take a couple of days off. We're going to come back Sunday afternoon and get some shots up and, and a good practice Monday, leave Tuesday. Uh, you know, it looks like we're going to be playing early on Wednesday in the afternoon. And, and so, you know, once you get to tournament time, playing teams for the third time, uh, you know, you might as well flip a coin. And uh, you, the, the team that's ready to go, you know, really wants to continue the season generally is the team that, uh, you know, is going to have the advantage. And, and, but I do think, I do think a few days to let this sink in uh, let them enjoy it. Uh, it will be great, and, and uh, I would sure think we'll be ready to go next Wednesday. This team you've had the last couple of years, they've seen quite a bit of success in Lacey, and obviously they're making a return trip to the tournament. Um, most wins in quite a while. Yeah, but, uh, you, you know, you guys have won three of your last four in Lacey and with the only loss coming to a Western Washington team, so that's nothing to really hang your head on. But, um, I mean, how nice is it to be able to go on a floor that – You've already played a TV game there this year and, and knowing that you guys are going to have a chance to win a conference title there. Well, you know, the experience of going to the GNAC tournament and having been, been in last year is huge. You know, uh, we need to rely on that. Uh, we did win the first round last year and you know, had a tough semifinal loss uh, to Seattle Pacific. So we've been in that situation. So hopefully we can utilize that. Again, there's no, no gimmies there. Uh, we got to take care of business Wednesday uh, to get a chance. I'd love to play in the semis uh, Thursday night. Uh, you know, that's our goal right now is to win, win that first one and, and then to get into the semis again like we were last year. You've coached in a lot of games. To, to see a game end like that against your rival, I mean, you know, you've been in Montana, Montana State games, New Mexico, New Mexico State games. I mean, uh, just talk, talk about winning a game like this against your rival. It's not just winning, but winning in the way we did. Well, you know, I've been in a lot of, I've had a lot of special wins. Uh, but you know what? Senior nights are special. And for us, I've never had six seniors, and uh, they're pretty special guys, what they've done on and off the court. But, you know, this one's going to rank right up there, Chris, and especially it being a last-second shot. Um, and the six seniors handling the emotion of senior night and, and still competing and playing and, and coming from behind, uh, coming from behind to get it done, and then it ends up in a last-second shot. It, it's pretty cool, and it's uh, definitely something that uh, I would think would – bond us for, for a long time, this group, and, and hopefully the coaches and players. We saw a lot of the players jumping, hooping, hollering, jumping on each other. What was your initial reaction when that ball dropped and you knew it was good? Well, I try to, usually try to stay pretty calm, but uh, all I know is I saw it go in and I saw the ref you know, give the signal that it was good. And that was, that was enough for me, and I know we have no monitor, so we couldn't go to a monitor to double check, but it was good. It was definitely good, but when I saw that referee signal good, and you know, and there's no time left, there's there's nothing better than that because the game's over, and uh, uh, I don't know what I did after that, but uh, uh, you know, that reaction, just seeing that thing go in, was was awesome.